everyone, Lisa here with Lisa's Homemade Happiness. If you haven't noticed, Halloween is just around the corner and I, for one, am getting into the spirit. It's one of my favorite holidays and the Dollar Tree had so many exciting items that you can turn into fabulous home decor. Today, I'll be bringing you some last minute Halloween DIYs that I know you are absolutely going to love. But first, if you love Dollar Tree hauls, DIYs, and just about everything home, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And with all that said, let's get started. For this adorable door hanger, you will need a scissor, hot glue gun and glue sticks, Dollar Tree witchy feet, and a purple costume skirt one gemstone, one wooden plaque, black felt letters spelling out welcome my pretties, purple paint, purple balloon weight, and an eight inch piece of black felt or ribbon. The first thing we did was to paint our wooden plaque a witchy purple. Next, we used our hot glue gun to take in the skirt a few inches on each side to make it a bit smaller. You want it to be about the size of the wooden plaque. Next, we cut about four and a half inches off the bottom of the skirt. Now that our wooden board dried, we arranged our felt letters to spell out, Welcome, my pretties. These are easy peel and stick. Next, hot glue the purple skirt right to the end of where the black netting ends on your witchy legs. Next, take your balloon weight and cut off the fringy pieces and take off the stars. Then take your fringe and hot glue it to the elastic band around the skirt, making sure to spread it out fairly evenly. Trim your fringe about an inch and a half above the bottom of your skirt. Now hot glue your beautiful stars across the elastic in a fairly evenly fashion. Next, use a lot of hot glue to secure your wooden piece right below the ring handle and also overlapping your skirt. Next, flip to the back side and glue the legs apart with the feet facing outward. Then make a bow out of your black felt or ribbon and glue right to the bottom of your Welcome My Pretties plaque. Lastly, hot glue a beautiful gemstone right in the middle of your bow for a little added sparkle and magic. And here it is, your finished Welcome My Pretties door hanger or wall hanger. You can really put this anywhere. I think it is absolutely charming and just adorable. Next, we're making a beautiful Day of the Dead wreath. You will need Dollar Tree Day of the Dead garland, a foam ring wreath, a sugar skull mask, and three feathered boas. Start by hot gluing your feathered boa to the foam wreath and wrapping it around. Then simply continue with your second and third boa until you completely finish wrapping the wreath. This is so pretty, honestly, on its own, but we're gonna make it even more spectacular. I cut all the string off the garland until I was left with the sugar skulls and top hats. Next, I evenly placed the sugar skulls on the wreath and proceeded to glue them down, making sure that I touched with some of the foam wreath to make it extra secure. Next, I cut the flowers off the mask and glued one flower to each of the sugar skulls' sides of their heads. Finally, I glued each of the top hats in between each of the sugar skulls. And there you have it, guys. In a matter of minutes, we created this gorgeous sugar skull Day of the Dead wreath, which I absolutely love. For our last and final project, we will be making this gorgeous haunted farmhouse beware wreath. I really loved all three of these projects today, but I think that this one is my favorite. For this project, you will need a can of black spray paint, a wreath, 
wide checkered ribbon, metal words that say spooky, beware, and haunted, I use beware. A bag of skulls, a black or purple rose, I used black, and black deco mesh ribbon. The first thing you want to do is spray paint your wreath and let dry. Next, cut about one yard of black buffalo check ribbon and dovetail the ends. Simply fold in half and cut on an angle like so. Next, gather your ribbon together as if to make a bow and hot glue the back side down onto your wreath. Next, cut an 8 inch piece of ribbon, make another bow loop and hot glue that behind the right bow loop. Cut another 8 inch piece of ribbon and do the same thing behind the left side loop. Next, cut your black deco mesh ribbon down the center into two 7 inch pieces. You will also make these into loops and hot glue them in between the other two bow loops. You can use your scissor to press down because the deco mesh is very thin and you don't want to burn yourself. I next cut a three inch piece of deco mesh and glued it down into the center. Use plenty of hot glue and hold down for a minute or two to secure it. Next, hot glue your rose directly underneath the center of your gorgeous fluffy bow. Next, ruffle the sides of your ribbon as you spot glue it down. Next, take one of your skulls and use plenty of hot glue to secure it down to the center of your bow. At this point, this is what it should look like. Next, remove two sets of leaves and hot glue them down between the mesh and the bottom loop of your bow on both sides. Next, glue a skull on each side of the rose. Next, glue your beware sign to both sides of your bow ribbon and under your rose. And there you have it, this spooktacular skeleton wreath that I think is just so beautiful and farmhousey. And I just love how it looks on my mantle. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you love these DIYs and can incorporate some of them into your Halloween home decor. I'm going to leave a link in the description box box to my last year DIYs in case you want any more fabulous decorating ideas. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It will really help me out and to subscribe to my channel. I would just love to have you come back as part of my YouTube family. Thanks guys. I love you. Bye.